Hey, this is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. We're going to talk about basic OSPF today. Uh, so the first thing, um, assuming that you are running the router code uh, and assuming that you uh, have the Layer 3 license installed to make this happen, um, we'll go into Config T. And uh, the first thing we need to do is turn on OSPF. So we'll do a router OSPF. And then the next thing we need to do is assign OSPF to an area. So more than likely, there's going to be uh, at least area zero on your device. Um, there may be other areas if you're an area border router, um, but there's, there's most likely at least an area zero. So we'll start with that. And then the next thing we need to do is go to an interface. So let's see what we've got for interfaces. Show, show IP interface says I have a VE, VE1 of 192.168.1.56 uh, and I have a loopback 1.1.1.1. So what we're going to do is we will just go to um, interface VE1 and IP OSPF area uh, 0. And um, um, actually for this case we'll, we'll, we'll turn on, uh, we'll go interface loopback 1 and do IP OSPF area zero as well. So we'll turn on OSPF on both the interfaces. Okay, so show IP, OS, show IP OSPF neighbor is not going to show me any neighbors because I haven't configured the other side. Show IP route. Of course, I don't have any OSPF routes learned yet because equally, I have not configured the other side of this. So I'm just going to hop over to our other router here. So let me pop out of this. Okay, so I'm on dash two. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. So uh, we'll do a show IP interface first. And then I'm going to turn on OSPF, router OSPF. I'm going to put the device in area zero. And then going to the interface, I put the interface in area zero. And we will also do the same thing for the loopback. Uh, loopback one, IP OSPF area, oops, area zero. Okay, so in a couple of seconds here, I now have a uh, neighbor relationship. So out my VE1, uh, I have a, um, uh, I, I am full, and the other side is a DR. So I'm going to assume that I'm BDR, but I have a full state. So in OSPF, this is as good as it gets, right? So this means that we are fully neighbor adjacent. We've exchanged our route tables. There's the neighbor address. So this is my address, 55 is peering with 56. The neighbor ID, or the router ID on the remote side is, is uh, 192.168.1.56. And so if we look at our IV route table now, we will now have learned a route to 1.1.1.0/24 via 192.168.1.56 out VE1, um, and the route type is OSPF. So I should now, if I drop out of here, I should now be able to ping 1.1.1.1 and so that tells me that not only do I have a route in this direction but there's also a route in the opposite direction um, so there's many other things show IP OSPF uh, route and I can see my individual routes right um, uh, you could look at the database if you wanted to see your LSAs so here we have router LSAs given by each router in the, in the area. We have a network LSA. Um, so anyway, multiple other things you can do. Uh, later on, we'll get into stubby and totally stubby and not so stubby areas and, and um, cr creating um, uh, uh, area border routers and um, autonomous system boundary routers. Uh, but that'll be in future episodes. But that's it for a basic OSPF configuration. Thanks for joining.